So welcome back to Biz HQ. Uh, just on the recovery mode from the awesome Drift Pro weekend. Uh, definitely needed a few good nights sleep following that one. But we are now back in the workshop ready to fit this. So uh, the FDF Mega Mantis kit for the 350Z has finally arrived. Also accompanied by a couple of new uh, front wheel bearings for the Z because the other ones are a little bit, bit wobbly. So uh, yeah, I now have my work out trying to fit this monster. So the actual work of fitting this is not going to be too bad, but removing the old part shop max kit is definitely going to be a bit of a challenge because I know that the uh, rose joints, which are the ones that join to the chassis from the banana arms, are well and truly seized onto the car. So I'm going to have to get creative, probably end up just using an angle grinder to cut those ones off. So then we can then get everything sh uh, shined up nicely and get this one fitted. So, uh... spoils from the other rose joints as well you can see I ended up weld trying to weld some nuts on here there's actually a third one on there so then the bearing puller would try and pull them off but unfortunately uh, well I nearly snapped the bearing puller instead of actually being able to move these things so yeah I ended up having to slit them with the angle grinder and cut them off but anyway that's them done not looking at the old stuff let's get ready for the new stuff <laughs> We have the FDF kit in position with the fantastic Fortune Auto 520 shocks in there as well. At the moment, everything is a complete guess about uh, lengths for camber, toe, caster. I've got my little uh, level gauge on here. So obviously the benefit to the FDF kit is the fact there's a nice flat plane on here. Put that on there. Definitely not going to give me 100% accuracy on caster. Uh, you still need to do a caster sweep to actually get that to uh, measure correctly, but it will give me a good in indication of that I've got both sides the same. So that will do for now. I've got the big calipers on there. I haven't been able to do a sweep yet uh, to see exactly what lock this has given me because I think at the moment I've got the suspension far too long. You can see at the kind of pretty decent angle that I've got there going on on the upper control arm. So uh, yeah, I want to get this thing with the wheels on and then get it back down on the ground, then we can understand whether or not I need to shorten this and what needs to happen next. So uh, one thing I really like about this one is, so far that I've found how much easier it is to obviously uh, adjust the caster. I know that like the Part Shop Max kit, obviously if I adjust the caster, you then got to adjust uh, your bottom arm and stuff like that to make sure you keep the camber and stuff the same. But just the fact that this is actually being held right on the tip edge of the stud where the part shop max one as you well know was seized on because it was actually on the main part of the shaft at the top um, made a big difference and made it a real chew on to actually adjust so pretty happy with it so far everything looks pretty nice and easy all nicely lubed up been putting plenty of my uh, Rymax uh, chain lube on all of the rose joints just like that giving them a little squirt every now and again so I want to make sure everything's nice and free flowing but, uh, but yeah, it's gone on there nice and easy. So 
time to do that all over again. Okay, so this is it down on the ground. Um, yeah, I've got some work to do. <laughs> About an inch of uh, tire stuck out there. Um, I'm actually far off caster value. I need to be about six and a half. I'm currently at about five and a half, so I wasn't too bad of a guess there, but I've uh, definitely got to pull pull the wheel in a bit to get a little bit more uh, clearance on there and maybe adjust the ride height a fraction uh, so it doesn't stick out quite as far. So uh, yeah, definitely a learning experience for me. I've never set up a kit completely from blank before. So uh, yeah, time to get the car jacked up, wheel off and start again. So we're getting closer, um, got camber set about how it should be now, which is about four degrees. Um, obviously there's no spacer on this wheel now, it is purely the ET0 that uh, Two Forge sent me on a nine and a half. Uh, caster is about right, uh, a little bit higher than it should be, so I'm going to back that out a little bit. But this is the next thing I'm going to do, it's obviously a bit dark, but I'm going to narrow the track width now. So if I absorb this one, take up the same then on the upper camber arm. That might hopefully get me in a little bit further uh, and then yeah we might just have to see whether or not we're going to have to go slightly over the top of the recommended settings for uh, what FDF recommend for this kit and just try and make it sort of work best we can. There's a few little bits at the moment that are causing me some concern so you can see there's a little bit of steel work here from the original wing. I probably need to cut that off and maybe need to take out a little bit from in here. And then as we've always had in the past as well, a little bit of contact here. So um, yeah, maybe we'll just see what happens. Obviously it works better when it's under compression because the wheels sit up in here. And then we've got hope that we don't end up with contact there. So uh, yeah, it's, it's as most of you guys know with setting up the geometry on these cars and obviously running a bit wide and with these gnarly lock kits that uh, clearance is often quite an issue. So. It's going to be a few more attempts yet to get it in the ballpark before we get the string alignment kit out uh, and then it'll definitely be a case of crossing the old fingers and uh, hoping the first time we take it out with yogs at Teesside that uh, everything works as, as planned. So uh, right, back to uh, t jacking it up and taking the wheels off again and uh, making a couple more adjustments. Okay, so what feels like 700 adjustments later, this is the final position. So uh, got. Decent amount of space at the back, but the front would have to cut away when the colouring joins in. Yeah, cut away a little bit in here just to give a little bit more space when the wheel goes on lock. And we have, I'll just spin around, we can get in this direction. There we go. So we ended up with uh, 4.5 degrees negative camber. So we're half a degree over what FDF say, and we are 0.2 over on caster as well. So we're about 6.2 caster. So um, yeah, I think we're pretty good on there. So guess what? It's time to do it all again on this side, but hopefully I've got enough measurements now to kind of work out what I need to do to speed up the whole process. So uh, time lapse again. Okay, here's the finished product. Pretty happy with it. Got it equal on both sides, nice and easy in the end, once I've learned a few little tricks of the trade. How to actually, uh, yeah, either take the weight off and adjust it as and when, and which bits to adjust first. So uh, yeah, pretty much ready to uh, go and take this out and see you at the track with Yogi. I'm back again. It was a little bit unfair of me to uh, sign off without showing you the lock beforehand. So this is now what we have. So yeah, a fair little bit in there. Pretty chuffed with that, so that's the obviously the training wheel still running positive Ackerman at the moment. And then that is the lead wheel. So yeah, got a little bit more adjustment to get on there just to get closer to the stops.
Okay, so Teesside is done with Yogi. Thanks, man, for taking the time out of your day to uh, sit in with me and give me a little bit, a uh, few more pointers and stuff like that. But uh, man, I'm seriously happy with that car now. Uh, feel a lot happier about going on to lock. Uh, feels nice and smooth. The kit feels fantastic. Obviously, I'll give it a good look over when I get home. But as far as I could see, flawless and uh, definitely feels a lot more kind of responsive and nice than the Part Shop Max kit used to as well. So uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, plenty more seat time now. That's what it's all about, seat time, seat time, seat time. And uh, yeah, start to gain the confidence in the Z after, after all. So uh, yeah, see you at the next event.